welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. I am Julie and if this look looks familiar it's because I just filmed my sample September video and I'm moving right into my update on my Pan That Palette and Project Pan. And I know that that video technically just went up like a couple weeks ago if not like a week ago but I filmed it a little while before that and I want to make sure my updates are going up at the beginning of the month. So this will be update one at the beginning of October. I'll do update two at the beginning of November update three at the beginning of December, and then my finale video at the end of December to let you know how I made out. So I know that it's close to the intro video, which will, I will have linked up here, but I do want to let you guys know how I'm making out. I have had some progress on some items, others I haven't used at all. If you guys have been following me, you know that I did have my sample September slash sample slim down. So I used a lot of sample primers, foundations, etc. this past month, which meant that I wasn't using a ton of these products. So there hasn't been quite as much progress on these as I would have liked there to have been. However, there has been some big progress made in a few of the items, so I did want to go ahead and do an update now. I'm going to jump into everything and try to do it in the same order as my first video, my intro slash rollover update video. I think I have it all written down in the appropriate order. Last video I started with my Steal It In The Light palette and my Pan That palette update, so I will go ahead and do the same thing for you now. And if you want to see where I was on that, uh, my last update, you can check out the video. Again, I have it linked up here and I'll have it linked in the description box below. But there has been some considerable progress. I hit side pan on Kitten and I've made a big progress, a lot of progress in Bare and actually Bliss, which I wasn't anticipating. And I've hit pan in another shadow. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, guys. So here you can see that I have worked Bare all the way down to this lower corner. Kitten, I've worked and I've gotten to side pan over here. And then Bliss, I'm working into this side of the pan as well as this part of the shadow and making progress there. Sunset, there's probably not very much difference in as well as Sandstone. Ebony as well, there's not going to be much difference in. I haven't used this one at all, but Luster, I did hit pan on, which I'm really excited about. And I don't think there's been any difference in bubbly or the gilded right here. Is that gilded? Yeah, gilded gold. <laughs> so in terms of progress on this, I did do a lot more of bear, a lot more of kitten, and a lot more of bliss. And then I am excited to have hit pan on luster. Again, my original goal for this was just to hit pan on seven of the shadows. I've now hit pan on all but one, so nine of the shadows. And now my goal is just to see how much more I can clean out before the end of the year and how much I can fully clean out the pans of. And um, so we'll see how I do. I anticipate Bear being gone by the end of the year, no problem. Kitten I'm hoping to get rid of as well, just because I love it and I really want to use it. And honestly, once Kitten was gone, I probably wouldn't mind getting rid of the whole palette because there's nothing here that's not dupable in another palette of mine or that I couldn't get and use somewhere else. So aside from Kitten, I do like Sunset, but I feel like I have that in other palettes as well. So once Kitten's gone, really, I'm probably just going to call this one a success and get rid of it so I can move on to some of my other palettes because I have not been getting any of my other palettes any love. I've been so, so dedicated to this. And I still love it. I've been using it since February religiously almost every single day and it's still coming up with looks that I enjoy and I don't mind using it. It's just that I'd like to start using other things. I'm going to continue to work on this and see what I can get done before the end of the year but I'm starting to want to use other palettes so we'll see how it goes. But that's my progress for now and I'm really really excited about it. Next up is my Painterly Paint Pot. This you may not see very much progress on. Honestly, it's gonna be pretty minimal. I have not used this really at all. I've been using my other eye primers for from my samples, from my sample September. So you're probably not gonna see any movement on this from my last update. Again, I'll try to insert something here if I can. But yeah, this is what it looks like now. Focus on me. There's not much left in there. I'm hoping that now that my samples are done with, I can just focus on this and move it out. I don't anticipate this being a problem to finish up before the end of the year. In fact, I hope it's done much sooner than that. 
So we'll see. I'm going to rededicate myself to that. And then my Brightening Peach. This is my Correction Concentrate from Pixie. This I have been using even with the samples because except for the two chiclots that I use for my samples, I didn't have anything for under the eye and brightening. So this there is some progress on. It's um, probably not cleared, cleared off as far as more pan is concerned, but it's a lot lower. So that is one that I'm excited to keep using as well. I hope this is gone by the end of the year, but it's just not something that I use too, too much of every time. So we're going to have to wait and see. Next up was my Milani 2-in-1, and it's literally still in my bag because I didn't touch it at all this month. I had so many sam sample foundations that I didn't use it once. And I am concerned at this point that it's going to be too dark to color match me. So I may end up having to put in one of my It Cosmetics CC creams. Probably a medium would work for right now. So I will wait and let you guys know in my next update what I end up doing with that. And then I have my Becca. This is my Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I've used this consistently, whether it's underneath my powder um, because I am using a cream blush in this project as well. I've been using this underneath my powder and then using the the um, pressed on top of it. I've also been using it to mix into a lot of my foundations, even my foundation samples. I would mix in a couple little wandfuls of this. So you should be able to see it was laying down. So it's pretty consistently full till here and then around the top and this bottom portion here. But I am seeing visible progress on this. I think at some point I'm probably gonna have to take the stopper out because a lot is stuck up around the top of that. I have almost every other shade of these liquids. So I wanna make sure that I'm using them up. Next up was my Smashbox Primer Water and that is gone. So this is one of the empties. I am done this for the project. That gets put into my trash. And then this one is probably around, yeah, probably around here. And I've been using this to wet my brush when I want to do a powder liner and just obviously to set my makeup. So this is going pretty quickly. And then when I finish this, I'll probably wait until an update, let you know that it's finished and then refill it with um, more of my NYX dewy setting. This is just a better size for travel. But once this is empty, I'll probably refill it and just keep this one as a rolling, you know, project. My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and you're probably not going to see any progress on this because it's massive and you can still see the rings there's still you know progress in that i've been using it every single day but i think it's still going to be a little while before i hit pan again the goal on this is just to hit pan i'm not looking to finish this i just want to hit pan on this before the end of the year so no visible progress not going to give you a close-up because it's not going to matter but i'm hoping that i hit pan eventually right i have to then my stila convertible blush this is in peony again not going to give you a close-up because there's no serious progress i want to hit pan on this i would love to actually finish it but i've tried to use this on my lips it's disgusting it's too old to use on my lips um and it's just not a nice color for my lips i don't like it on my lips so this is only going to be used on my cheeks i have started putting this underneath of my powder and then maybe stippling a little tiny bit on top as well to kind of like amp it up and use it twice in my makeup routine but you need so little of this so we'll see how that one goes and then i have my powder highlighter this is also by becca and this is also in opal same as the liquid i've not hit pan on this yet again my goal is just to hit pan on this if i can do more awesome i would love to i'd love to eventually clear this entire thing out but i think once i hit pan if this shatters or breaks because these are so soft i'll probably end up having to leave it at home but i've been using this as an inner corner highlight i've been using this um all over my lid as my highlighter although today my highlighter is kitten <laughs> I've really, really been trying to multi-purpose that shadow so that I can use it up. And so today, all of my highlight is kitten. Except for the liquid. I did put liquid on underneath of my powder. Everything that I'm wearing right now will be listed down below. So if you're curious, it's, it's all down there anyway. There is a considerable dip in this, but no actual pan and not progress it's worth getting up close and personal with. Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This hasn't moved at all because again, I had so many other samples of my primers for my sample September that I didn't get to it. So my other empty is my Smashbox 
photo finish primer. I finished this today. So this was just one of the little small primer samples and I used this guy all the way up. It's gonna be going into the trash because I put it in my sample September finale as well as this. So I will keep this in a bag for like the end full wrap up of this project. But for now, it's an empty. I have eight products that I've already finished from this project in just the last week and a half, which is amazing. So I'm so excited about that, but let me get into that. So the first thing that I finished off was this Wet n Wild concealer pen. And if you watch my intro video, there was not very much left in this. So this was kind of my gimme product and this is all done. Can't click any more up out of that. And it worked okay, but I probably won't repurchase it. It wasn't phenomenal, so that's not gonna be repurchased. My Catrice, this has had zero progress. I've used it, I've continued to use it, but it's such a thick product that it's really, really hard to tell any kind of progress. I can see through it almost all the way around, but it's still clinging to the sides so much that to show you is like pointless. So I do think towards the end of this, I'm going to have to take out the stopper and really scoop it out. And then I have like a little empty container that I'll probably end up putting it into so that I could use it a little bit better and show progress because this is gonna be really hard to show progress on eventually. Then I have, ooh, my brows, okay. So next up was my Trustique. This was the Brow Define Sculpting Set is done. So this, you know, stopped being able to click up, couldn't do anything with it, and just, it was gone. And I did say that when that happened, I was gonna stop using this, you know, pomade that's in the bottom or the setting gel, cause I didn't care for it. So that went. The Cella Brow Pencil, that went as well. Nothing left on that. And then the Gimme Brow is what I was using to set my brows after I finished up with the Trustique pencil. And that as well is empty. So this, it went really fast and I like did the whole scoopy around the side thing, but it's coming out dry. So there was not a ton of product in this. I thought I would get more use out of it. I did like it while I had it and I have no problems with it. I love the little tiny spoolie. I liked that it did have like fibers and color and it did fill in my brows enough that I didn't have to always use a pencil. I could just use this on like a no makeup chill day, which was really, really convenient. But uh, yeah, that's gone now. And then I started using my Too Faced Brownie and this has been sharpened two or three times now. So that's one thing about this. It is like a wooden pencil. It's not that um, precise. So once it starts to dull down, you do have to sharpen it again. So that is, you know, helping me go through this a little bit quicker. And again, this pencil does not go, you know, the full length, there's a spoolie on this. So it only goes down to here. And I'm making some progress on that, which is really nice. And then I've added in my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I just got this in a Sephora Play Box. So I am using this now to set my brows since I ran out of all of my brow gels. My mascara. I did call it quits on my Milk Ubami mascara. This dried up to a point where there was more product in there, but like to actually rub it on my lashes or like on my hand, it's dry. It just, it doesn't work anymore the way that I want it to. I'm not gonna continue to use a mascara that just doesn't perform. So I'm calling that quits. I did say in my first like rollover, you know, intro video that this was drying up really quick on me. I got about three more weeks of use out of it after I filmed and then again that video went up a little bit late and then I called it quits. So that's done. And then I did start using my Marcel. This is the curl and lengthening and it works okay. It's not great at separating so it's definitely not my favorite but I've been using it consistently. Again you can't see progress but I like it. And then my lippies are my last products and I had my ColourPop in what is this, Lumiere, and this guy is done. And I could dig some out, but honestly I have a backup and I just don't see the need to do that. So it's like flat to the point where I can't actually get it on my lips. And I love this color, like I said, I have a backup of it. It's phenomenal, but that is gone from my collection. And then my NYX matte lipstick in natural. Yes, I always wanna say neutral, but it's not, it's natural. This I've been using consistently since I finished my Lumiere. 
it's just, it's a lot more pink. Lumiere is a lot more nudie, brownish move. This is very pinkish. So I don't love it for right now. I'm really obviously feeling the vampy fall lips. So I'm not reaching for it as much for when I have like a full face. But if I just am going out, running out, and I want to put on a wash of color, I will use this. So I don't think you're going to see any progress. But I have continued to use it. I've used it pretty regularly. It's just not wearing down, you know, enough where I would think that it's like a measurable amount of difference. That is all of my products for this update. So this is update number one. I've made some really great progress on some of my items. Other items you're not seeing any progress on yet, but I'm still hopeful, still confident that I'm going to get through it. And I finished eight items between the intro and this update. So that makes me really happy. They were kind of like gimme products where they were <laughs> They were already pretty low. They were already pretty empty. So I did kind of set myself up for success there and I'm just hoping that I can keep momentum through the rest of the project now that the easy items are out of the way. So we will see. I'm going to keep plugging away. Thank you so much for watching my Pan That Palette and Project Pan update number one. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks for how to move through these any faster than I am, go ahead and leave them down below. I'm always looking for advice on how to pan, especially the convertible cream blush or the bronzer because they are pretty lofty and the two highlighters. So any ideas, definitely let me know. So thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. All right, guys. I have no outtakes for this video because I crushed it. <laughs>